and welcome to the littlest bookshelf aka my booktube channel and this is my first ever booktube video so i hope you guys enjoy um it might be a little awkward but let's just roll with it so i have a mini book, book haul to share with you guys today um they've all been sent to me by publishers i normally only buy books once a year and that's normally in december with my bonus so yeah let's get into the video um i'm gonna try to do this in one take so firstly i've got a historical fiction the foundling by stacy halls and um i actually have another book from her called the familiars this one over here uh, which i haven't read yet but it's also historical fiction um and i've heard nothing but good things about stacy hall's writing but this one is basically about this woman in London, 1754, and she's got a, a legitimate baby. And she goes to this hospital called the Foundling Hospital. And she, it's basically where they um, go to leave unwanted babies. And a couple of years later, she goes back to, because um, she wants to meet her, her, her daughter. And uh, she finds out that somebody actually um, already collected her and it all just starts um, picking up from there so this one sounds so like a next book. up I've got um, Maxie McNaughton's Second Chance and this is basically an adult uh, contemporary contemporary slash comedy and it's basically about this woman Maxie and um, all her troubles that she's she goes through um she's illiterate uh she's got anger management issues and she's been to jail and it's just her journey um going through all of these issues and trying to better herself and actually becoming literate so i think it's really interesting because we don't normally get to read from a, a protagonist like this so it would be interesting to see um how how this so goes. next up i've got a thriller and it's called fire watching by russ thomas and um normally i don't like to know what happens in thrillers because that kind of spoils it for me but i know this one is uh re revolving around a cold case and arsony um i've been really getting into thrillers lately so i'm excited to add this to my thriller collection um, so the next book is um, a book I have heard and seen on Instagram so many times and it's called My Dark Vanessa and this is by Kate Elizabeth Russell. So this one, this is a hard hitting contemporary and for good reason. It's obviously centered around the Me Too movement and um, all of that and it's about this woman called Vanessa and um, she had this English English teacher in high school that she had a um, intimate relationship with and she she actually thinks of that relationship as her first true love but it ends up um, coming out that he actually abused another woman and um, she she starts grappling with uh, reality the reality that she might have been um, abused as well and um, this one sounds really interesting and I've actually started reading it as you can see so yeah I'm excited to um, finish this one and um, it sounds really good so next up uh, I've got a young adult novel and it's called Wolf Light by Yabba Badu um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but this is a fantasy um, it's about these three girls uh sisters actually but they're born in different parts of the world and um they're all tasked in protecting um these three places uh the tropical forest a mountain and a river and it basically just resolves around the three of them and their task of uh, protecting these places so this one sounds really fun it's really short too so you can just finish it in an afternoon um i'm busy reading stormlight archives right now so i feel like uh, if you need to pick me up after dark dense fantasy like that this one would be perfect 
Um, next up, I've got a middle grade from an author that's mostly known for his adult um, adventure stories. And that's Cloudburst by Wilbur Smith. Um, I was really surprised to see that he's written a, a middle grade slash young adult novel. Because um, he's so well known for writing adult fiction. So this one sounds really good. It's also really short. Um, and it's about Jack Courtney. He's accompanying his parents to a conference in the Congo. And his parents end up getting kidnapped. So that sounds crazy, but um, it sounds really action-packed and fun. So I think this is going to be a fast So next up, I've got Norton Crosses by Mallory Black Blackman. And um, this is actually, I feel like, a booktube OG kind of book. It's been around for a long time. This is just a different cover. It's the movie, the TV show tie-in. And um, I know the synopsis. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this book is about. Um, and I actually want to start watching the show, the TV show. So yeah, this one, excited to add it to my collection as well. So um, I've got two magical realism books coming up. And the first one is Here in the Real World by Sarah Pennypacker. And um, this is a middle grade book. It's about this little boy called Wei. And he ends up meeting this girl called Jodie Lean. And um, I don't know too much about this one, but I feel like... Um, it's heavily uh, relying upon magical realism and um, yeah, sounds like a cute, fun read. And then the other magical realism book I have is Gingerbread. Also one I don't know too much about. Um, I know there's magical realism in this one, but that's about it. Um, you can tell why I was interested in this one. It's the cover. And um, lastly um, is Bloodwater Paint. And um, this one's super interesting because it's actually written in verse, which is super cool. Um, I've never read a book written in verse before. Um, I know the poet X is, but I haven't gotten to that one yet. Um, but this one's really um, interesting because it's based on a true story about Artemisia, which uh, she was the t uh, Rome's most talented painter. And um, she actually ends up getting sexually assaulted. And her case um, ends up being one of the first cases where the perpetrator actually gets um, punished. So I'm really, really interested in reading this one. Um, that's my book haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know if I should put this in, but um, I know the editing and everything is going to be a little bit wonky. But just... Please bear with me, guys. It's my first ever YouTube video, um, but I'm excited to put this out there. Um, and um, if you have any tips and tricks for me, you, um, you can share it in the comments below. It will be welcomed. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, stay safe and healthy. Bye, everyone.